The following champion versus champion contest is a Hell in a Cell match. And it's for the, and the, introducing the champion from Pearl River, Mississippi, weighing in at 266 pounds. He is the Rated R Wrestling Extreme Universal Big time singles champion. matches on deck here, and Byron, what should Mason we expect to see here Andy. tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. And introducing the champion from Jackson, Mississippi, weighing in at 277 pounds. He is the Rated R Wrestling Extreme World Heavyweight Champion, Gregory Farmer. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Ah, oh, what a slam. Boom! <laughs> He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Belly to belly. Vicious. Boom, what impact. Champ not looking good right now. 
This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Guys, I don't think you can have a conversation about great Hell in a Cell moments without bringing up the name Shane McMahon. He really has become synonymous with Cell insanity. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh boy, he is rolling. A striking blow. Harsh impact. It's hard not to recognize what Shane McMahon has done when it comes to Hell in a Cell. As Corey was saying, but at what point is enough enough? Come on, Michael. There's no such thing as enough when it comes to... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hung out to dry. Oh, that was a long way down. Nobody does it quite like him. Someone's going to be black and blue tomorrow. Shoulders on the mat. And the champ kicks out. Not even close. Real quick, let's remind everybody that there are no rules inside the Hell in a Cell, meaning the referee's sole job in this match is to call for the bell following a three count or submission. Oh boy, he oh is rolling. Oh! This one is over. Just as important as Byron's point about there being no rules inside the cell, the same holds true for outside the structure. As we've seen many times in the past, superstars don't always stay within the cell. No, they don't, Cole. In fact, a lot of times you'll see them competing on top of the cell of all places. You know, no matter how many times I see it, this could be it. Damn it. Nice. Shut it down. Guys, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I definitely need to see that again. The champ looks to be in phenomenal shape. It's going to be tough to defeat someone who might just be in the best shape of their career. Hard to dispute Byron's point about what these superstars put themselves through in an environment like this. For whatever reason, when the Hell in a Cell structure is in place, superstars willingly push the boundaries of physical punishment. And then there's people like Shane McMahon who just take that to a whole other level. Good grief. Close line! The champ's absorbing some offense here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. Oh, he's able to reverse it. And set him up oh, the of the That's going to hurt. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Counter here. Scoop slam. And there's his speed paying off. What a strike. Comes up big with the reversal. Oh, he turns it around. He might have it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's in control. He's in trouble. This could be dangerous. He's looking at it. Beautiful technique. Man, looked like the champ was down and out for a moment there, but not anymore. What's he got in mind? He knows he's in trouble. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, that's the impact. 
Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Look at this. And the fight must go on. Just needs to do more damage. Now back to the rank. This has been a battle. A knee drop! Elbow drop with authority. Elbow drop. Piercing. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He gets it with a reversal. You gotta believe this one's over. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. The shoulders are down. One. This guy's a competitor. He's not going down yet. Way too early. And he... Batista! What a spear from the animal. Can he finish the jump? What a slam. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's making a statement here with this attack. The stop in the leg. This nasty. Here he goes. Ooh, what impact. This one's over, guys. That's worth another look. Yeah, I want to see that again. Here's the cover. One, two. I thought that was it. He's still in this. When this guy's on, look out. He's lining him up. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's looking at him. Cutter! What a comeback. His shoulders are down. Two! Three! The pinfall and the victory. The Hell in a Cell matches never disappoint, guys, but this one falls right into the legendary category. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel, because he was on fire in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your graded R Wrestling Extreme World Heavyweight and Mason Handy. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. Well, that was indeed a great match, and I think it's worth emphasizing.